Hello and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Ms. Whitehead Tambani and today we are going to learn ways to be a problem solver in communicating our ideas about joining word problems. Before we get started, let's get our math brains warmed up by looking at these pictures. What is the same in both pictures? It is the same because they both have counters. It is the same because they both have seven counters. It is the same because they both use a 10 frame. Can you think of anything else that is the same? What is different in both pictures? It is different because the top 10 frame has green counters and the bottom 10 frame has yellow counters. It is different because of the way they show seven. The green counters have five on the top row and two in the first two boxes of the bottom row. The yellow counters have four counters on the top row with the middle box empty and the bottom row has counters in the first two boxes in the last box. Can you think of anything else that is different? Our learning outcome for today is to model and solve story problems. You can work on your communicator skills by listening so you can understand. Think about how communicators write or model to share ideas when I have you work on the math problem later. Before we get started, I want you to get some paper, crayons, and 10 counters, and then come back to me. I'll count to 20 while you get your materials. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, come back to me. Just put your materials next to you while you listen to me read the story problem. What do you notice about this picture? Maybe you notice the T-Rex. Maybe you notice the tree in the back. Maybe you noticed big rocks on the ground. Picture in your mind what is happening while I read the story problem to you. Noah had some toy dinosaurs. What do we know so far? Noah had some toy dinosaurs. Continue to picture the story in your mind. Noah had some toy dinosaurs. His friend Muhammad came to play. What new information did we find out? His friend Muhammad came to play. Continue to picture the story in your mind. Noah had some toy dinosaurs. His friend Muhammad came to play. Muhammad brought some toy dinosaurs. What new information did we find out? Muhammad brought some toy dinosaurs. Continue to picture the story in your mind. Noah had eight toy dinosaurs. His friend Muhammad came to play. Muhammad brought some toy dinosaurs. What new information did we find out? Noah had eight toy dinosaurs. Continue to picture the story in your mind. Noah had eight toy dinosaurs. His friend Muhammad came to play. Muhammad brought two toy dinosaurs. What new information did we find out? Muhammad brought two toy dinosaurs. Continue to picture the story in your mind. 
Noah had eight toy dinosaurs. His friend Muhammad came to play. Muhammad brought two toy dinosaurs. How many toy dinosaurs do Noah and Muhammad have now? What new information did we find out? We have a question. We need to find out how many toy dinosaurs do Noah and Muhammad have now? Let's read the story problem again. Noah had eight toy dinosaurs. His friend Muhammad came to play. Muhammad brought two toy dinosaurs. How many toy dinosaurs do Noah and Muhammad have now? I want you to work out this problem. You may use your paper, crayons, pictures, numbers, words, or even your counters to show your thinking. I'll give you time to work on this problem now. Show me what you did. Everyone had some great answers. Let's take a look at some of the ways you solved the problem. Maybe you started with eight dots on a 10 frame for the eight toy dinosaurs Noah had. Then you added two more dots for the two toy dinosaurs that Muhammad had. 8 and 2 more makes 10. Maybe you started with the number 8 and counted on two counters. 8, 9, 10. So they had 10 toy dinosaurs now. Maybe you started with 8 tally marks for Noah's toy dinosaurs and added two more tally marks for Muhammad's toy dinosaurs to make 10 now. There are many ways to solve this problem. Let's reflect on our learning. Take a moment to think about yourself as a mathematician and communicator. Did you learn something new about modeling and solving story problems? Were you able to listen so you could understand? Did you write or make models to share your ideas? Mathematicians can communicate their ideas in many ways. In today's episode of Math Matters, we learned ways to be a problem solver in communicating our ideas. Try to make and solve joining problems with your family today. Make sure to communicate how you solve the problems. I'm Ms. Whitehead Tembani. I hope you have a great day and keep on counting.